Hello YouTube! Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin. It's time again for another Pocket Dump Deconstruction. It's Saturday, October 8th, 2016, and it's late. <laughs> it's about, it's after 7 p.m. in the evening. I haven't even set my watch yet. I'm about ready to run out. I, I, I went down to get some mail, so yes, there is a big knife. Uh, in this <laughs> and then I came back I was about ready to go and run and do some uh, uh, things <laughs> today before later tonight when I go see some friends and I kept going oh, forget it <laughs> and didn't do it um, Saturdays are always tough to do anything that I do Monday through Friday because it uh, I don't know why I feel it's the first day that I'm not working on the weekend, so it's even hard to do this, fill my pocket with a bunch of stuff that we can then talk about. What you see in front of you is what I'm going to fill my pockets with, what I'm going to smoke and drink. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited with what I'm filling with my pockets with today. I've got a couple of some of my favorite knives, um, and I going to show them to a, a group of folks who love to ask about my knives and I don't think they've seen these three before so I'm excited about that and I'm also excited about the cigar so let's get started I have already posted on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken this pocket dump deconstruction go on over to Instagram by the way whether you follow me on Instagram or not you need to be on Instagram Okay, because all of the knife people, the people that you see on YouTube have an Instagram. All the people who make the knives are on Instagram. So go check it out. Yeah, I don't get paid for that. I just think it's great if you're a collector of knives. So let's talk about this pocket dump deconstruction. It's Saturday, so I have what I've been calling. I know I keep trying to keep. I have this. Uh, <laughs> this jersey with long sleeves. I keep trying to keep the sleeves up and they keep falling down. So um, this is what I call the Sabenza of the watch world. Yeah, it's my tag, chronograph, just nice. I love it. Just like the Sabenza, well made, just perfectly made, sturdy, and beautiful in its simplicity of design. Oh, I just really like it. Cigar today. Oh, 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 yeah, it's Saturday. I've got time to smoke this. I'll probably be smoking this well into the night when I get home. But I'm going to put it in my pocket. My friend also has cigars, and sometimes I'll trade him a Cuban for, for what he's smoking. But... Ah, I love this cigar. Romeo and Juliet Churchill. Churchill, you see how big this cigar is? This is the kind of TV cigar, right? You see with uh, a lot of stars on TV, when you think of a cigar, if you're not familiar with cigars, this is the size, the Churchill. Romeo and Juliet from Cuba. Oh, I love that cigar. You know what? I'm doing brandy. I don't do brandy often. I looked at that bottle on my table and it said, drink me. Nah. <laughs> Sounds like I took a couple of sips already, doesn't it? Uh, by the way, people do ask me, why do you carry a flask and it's Saturday or Sunday? Um, usually I carry a flask Monday through Friday when I go to work because after work, um, I... <laughs> sip it. It's also a nice thing. When people see that you're carrying a flask, I don't know, people love flasks, love taking sips of flasks, love asking you what's in the flask. On the weekends, as I always tell you guys, I'm an older guy, and so uh, I have to tell you that uh, I have to trick myself because I know <laughs> uh, my vices, and sometimes when it's tasting good drinking, I just keep going. Just like a lot of people, not a super, super problem. It's just, hey, it's Saturday or Friday night. So what I do even on the weekends is I carry a flask. 
And a lot of times, like I'm going out, I'll probably not drink from the flask. I might. I might share my brandy with uh, my friends. But even when I get home and my flask is full, I start with drinking from the flask. I'll bring out a glass and pour it from the flask. And then my rule is wait after the flask is empty before you continue. 98% of the time, I still continue. But it is a, a nice thing for me to do. Uh, I I do a lot of those little <laughs> things <laughs> to solve some of my issues. That's one of my, um, I know, the weekend ones are always weird, aren't they? I wait too long <laughs> to do this. I've been sitting on the couch way too long. Um, this is my uh, vintage coach uh, wallet. Nice thin wallet. I am carrying, I love the Australian kangaroo coins. Uh, the Australian coins are really nice. That mint is very creative. And um, the series, there are so many series of kangaroo coins coming out of Australia. It's just wonderful. This is the 2013 Australian kangaroo. Uh, it's one of those, sometimes you guys will see me, I always say I do a... Uh, a uh, one ounce coin and sometimes you'll see the coin go man that looks a lot smaller sorry the the lights just going all off this uh it is smaller but it's thicker it's still one ounce silver coin uh let's see let's take our knives off of this we do have a knife that got away and of course it's saturday <laughs> i got a lot of shopping from amazon Dot com. Man, I don't know what I'd do without Amazon and YouTube. You know, I'll tell you. Um, and then I just figured, I just found out Amazon has this new thing called Fresh. I'm a bachelor. A uh, new thing called Fresh that's like groceries. And because of, uh, I live in a big eastern urban city, they're like, We'll deliver it tomorrow for you. You tell us when. It's really a nice service. Uh, Amazon Fresh. They're doing everything and selling books. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, I'm like that dog in the cartoon. Squirrel. Uh, on weekends, I always go off all my mini tangents. I apologize for that. Let's talk about the knives. Of course, those are the field notes. Wonderful notepads. I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. If you haven't tried them out, try them out. They're available everywhere as well. Just nice, sturdy. Sturdier than you would imagine. Um, just nice notepads. Now let's talk about the carry. It's almost like I've been on a uh, Spydaco ladybug <laughs> stretch lately. You know, the Ladybug is the most popular small knife for Spydaco. And this is another variation of the Spydaco Ladybug. This is the Ladybug Salt. Whenever you see a Spydaco with uh, yellow uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon scales, FRN scales, and that big H1, you know it's from the Salt series. The Salt series is Spydaco's rust-proof series, the, the series of knives that Spydaco says, go hey, go take them if you're sailing, if you're swimming, if you're fishing, if you're anywhere uh, by water, especially even salt water, it will not rust. That is the H1 steel, and that is, as they say, 100% rust-proof, will not rust. And of course, this ladybug is a hawkbill blade with that spidey edge. <laughs> That's what Spydaco calls their serrated edge, the spidey edge right there. Man, these things, it's a little knife. Um, but man, these little, these little mighty knives, <laughs> when you got a hawkbill like this with a serrated edge, it can do a little damage. Again, H1, rust-proof steel, 1.9 inch blade, serrated. Uh, it is the Spydaco Ladybug Hawkbill Salt. 
My second one, man, it's just a favorite knife of mine. I probably overused it. I love my Striders. I really love this. Every time, I, 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 I don't see a lot of these floating around. I don't. And every time I'm looking for them, they come up, but they're not this. This is the Strider SJ75 Mini. <laughs> It's just this big, nice, big, small, big knife. I keep saying small, big knife, but that's exactly what this is. Ah, oh, look at that. That thick blade. You know, I always talk about I don't like how Spyderco coats their blades. I'm okay if you do a coating, uh, especially when it's blacked out, when the black really matches is black with the green smooth g10 just looks un freaking believable the blade is what's really special i think with the s uh j75 i really think it's great i do it's titanium on the lock side with that frame lock like i said very smooth it feels like fabric that's how smooth the g10 is with this green g10 it's like a bait it's the baby huey knife can you see that right there? The ridges all the way down, sculpted all the way down the spine of the blade. Is that something? Just really nice. Has the same thing down the spine of the handles on both sides, the G10 and the titanium handles. Just a nice design. Nice big fat knife that's slim and fits perfectly in your hand. Strider. I love your SJ75 Mini. This one, I'm going to keep. <laughs> Whenever I decide to start <laughs> slimming down the collection, this one stays. I really like it. Three-inch blade. It's a wide one. Three-inch blade. CPM 154 steel on this one. Of course, that green, very smooth G10, it feels like cloth. It really does. Look at the pivot. It's a nice pivot. All the way. Look, open construction, easy to clean. Just an all in all. I think that clip is like a nothing clip, right? <laughs> but it works. It works very well. <laughs> it does work well, but it doesn't add a lot, does it? But I'm okay with that. Everything else just makes this a special knife. Again, Strider SJ75 Mini. That's my medium knife. And then I actually pulled up the Mini first. I tried a knife that got away. And then I went, wait a second. Let's get the custom out. This is a custom knife. I posted this on Instagram and someone commented, I really love the generalist who did the mod, the modifications on it. <laughs> I had to write back and go, no, 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 no. I know I love my production knives and my mid tags, but this is full custom, buddy. Yeah, Robert Carter did this one just for me. Actually, he did it for someone else. You guys know I hate waiting. The reason you don't see me with a bunch of customs is not that i don't care about customs i love customs maybe i'll start going customs maybe i'll start selling off the production collection into customs i don't know the one reason i've started thinking about that is a lot of customs now you see them at blade hq at knifeart.com elsewhere my problem with customs is I, waiting six months trying to find a maker who you know all of their books are closed yada 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 I don't have time for that I also don't have time for someone you know six months seven months out saying okay now you can pay me I just don't like it when I have money I like to drop it on knives but now I love what a lot of them are doing a lot of them are turning the mid text a lot of them also are making custom knives and selling them off to Blade HQ and others so that we all get a chance at them. And on Instagram, 
a lot of them auction off their knives and that's how I got this. I was new to Instagram pretty much, made sure everyone was talking about how great this young uh, guy Captain was, Robert Carter and the Generalist, everyone was slobbering over their Generalist. So I just started following him. I still follow him. I still watch him make knives for people on Instagram. And then one night he said, hey, I'm auctioning this off. The person who ordered it flaked on me. I have it done. And I happen to just get paid and have a bunch of money in my pocket. I won the auction. I was very excited about it. And um, <laughs> the next day he's, he's emailed me. He goes, thank you. You won it. And I said, great. And he had just a plain clip. He said, but man, uh, you know what? I'm, I've got to do something about that clip for you. I'm going to do something special with that clip. And during all morning, I remember being at work, seeing all these pictures of him going out into his workshop and, and finding a piece for it and, and doing it and just saying, oh, I think this is great. Oh, what a wonderful experience. And then I got it with a personal note thanking me. Um, he's a great guy. Man, and I don't even know him. I don't, but great guy. I understand why people wait six months or a year. You know what? If his books were ever open, I would wait for him because such a gentleman, such a wonderful guy. By the way, and I bragged about it. I didn't brag about it, but I said, hey, you, don't, you can't see in there because he etched his initials and the number nine. This is the ninth generalist isn't that wonderful i just love that blade i really do i really do that sheep's foot blade acid washed just perfectly i think you know i can only talk about the knives that i own i think he does great acid wash and i think jason browse these two the best acid wash blades I've ever had 3.4 inches um, it's just flips like a dream it is the generalist number nine my picture on Instagram usually I flip this to show off the clip because I'm so proud of it and it's part of my buying it but this time on Instagram I didn't but I'll do it for you guys that is the generalist man you talking about a carry for a Saturday that's worth getting off of the couch for. <laughs> That's worth stopping watching people <laughs> driving sports mobiles on <laughs> and living in their vans and on boats <laughs> on YouTube for. Ah, oh, what a nice carry. I'm happy. That made me happy. It makes me happy to be able to share with you guys too. That, my friends, that's the carry. That's what's going to be in my pocket. That's the pocket dump deconstruction. Don't forget to thumb it up. I know it's late. I tell you guys as much as I can. Weekends, they're usually later. Saturdays, they're always later. Sundays, I don't know. Tomorrow, the Cleveland Browns, which is my hometown team. I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. And yes, it's painful. Of course, they're young this time plays the Patriots <laughs> on the first day Tom Brady's back. So uh, it's, I'm probably in for a, a miserable afternoon. I might tape the pocket dump deconstruction before the massacre begins, but we'll see tomorrow. And then, of course, on Monday, Monday through Friday, even though Monday is Columbus Day and I'm off on Monday as a holiday, we're celebrating the guy that, couldn't find America, uh, but that's okay. I'm off, but I will, I know everyone in the U.S. is not off on Columbus Day, so I'll try. My plan is to still get it up, uh, get it up, I still to get the video done and post it to YouTube by 11 o'clock for all of you who aren't as lucky as I am to be off on Columbus Day. That's it. You can check out the nice and neat thing on Instagram at Keith, Kevin, Kim. But you know what? This ain't Instagram. And you know what? I was going through and I pulled out this military. 
I have to admit, I have my paramilitaries right next to my militaries in my Pelican, one of my Pelican 1550 cases. I almost thought this was the paramilitary and it just kept coming out of the case. I went, that's the military. And then I felt it, it's so light. This carbon fiber pill ply, it's so freaking light. I'll tell you, I do have a collection of uh, militaries and I'll show that off when we go through, when we do our uh, Spydeco Pelosi, uh, Pelosa. Next time, next time I do something special and I name it, I'm gonna name it like something easy, like Fred. <laughs> when we hit 2000, we're gonna have a Fred. And then I'll explain what Fred is. Uh, anyway, when we hit a thousand subscribers, look how this drops. I, I, I love this thing. I really was going to go with this. I was. The only thing is it's a beast of a knife for me. Very light though. Very light. This is one of the newer ones that I bought this year. One of the several sprint runs the Spydeco had with militaries and paramilitaries this year. That sprint run means it's an exclusive, not an exclusive, it is a limited edition knife. Um, the knife is usually a thousand, around a thousand or less of them. And when they're done, they're done. And this is discontinued already. You have to pick them up on the, uh, on the secondary market. Now you might be looking at this saying, so what's so sprint run about it? What's so special about it? Well, it is a military, as you guys know, a very popular knife for Spydeco. It has carbon fiber peel ply. That's not new. Um, four inch blade. All the militaries are four inch blades. Yeah. Here's the difference, of course. It has five, two, 100 steel. Yeah, 52, 100 steel. Oh. Just a great tool steel, um, very hard, really retains an edge. You have to take care of it though. It's not pure stainless steel, so you do have to take care of it. You know, it's, I don't mean it's like M4, CPM M4, because I'm not an expert on steels, okay? I was about ready to say that, and I know I'm gonna get comments from you steel pros fanatics by the way i'm a knife fanatic i'm a cigar fanatic i'm a watch fanatic i'm a movie fanatic so I, i'm when i say fanatic that's a loving term coming from me okay uh it's someone who just likes different things i'm not a big steel fanatic when i was about ready to say it's like m4 meaning for those of you who are like me uh it has all these great properties but you have to take care of it because 98% of the knives that I have, both my folding knives and fixed knives, they're stainless steels. So yeah, you need to keep them clean, but they won't rust on you. This can rust on you, so you have to take it easy. But what a wonderful knife. Again, the Spydeco Military Sprint Run. Yeah, Sprint Run, lim limited edition with the carbon fiber peel ply and the steel 52100, what do you call it? 52100 uh, steel, which is just wonderful. But what a beautiful knife. What a, it's just, this is, there are some spider coal knives that when you just pick them up, and a lot of them are the ongoing ones, whether it's a Manix or an Endora or a Delica. Oh man. This, just the knives they always make as well as the sages, where you just go, man, this is beyond quality. It's just really nice. I mean, it's just a wonderful knife. This is the military, folks. Paramilitary came out of the military. People were saying, I love the military. I wish it was a little smaller. You get the paramilitary. Some people are saying about the paramilitary, I wish it was really small. I'm hearing a rumor. Someone was saying that maybe the militia is coming, a smaller variation of this. Frankly, I think the militia has, has already come. It's called Sage 5 because <laughs> it's a beautiful knife. It, to me, it's a, it's a small paramilitary. 
there you have it. That's the military. That's the knife that got away. And then, listen. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, the boys love this one. The boys in the mailroom. It was Amazon Day. <laughs> And I always take a big knife down there so they can cut up boxes and have fun. They really love this. They always keep my stuff from the front desk and keep it back there to force me to go back there. And now, I don't know, maybe a month or two, I've been bringing, maybe two or three, I've been bringing the big knives down there every Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, I get my Blue Apron <laughs> box of goodies. But man, I just, I love this knife. I don't carry it much. This is the Microtech Halo 5. It's a beast. You know, a lot of times I talk about my Microtech automatics and I say it's double action. You know, usually you press a lever up, it goes. You press a lever to go down. This is a single action, which means you press the button and you retract it back like that. Single action. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell you, you can feel it. You know, someone, once I, I had automatics and I did this and they said, oh man, it has play. All automatics have play. They just do. Now I saw somewhere where someone, um, was it the Gavin? Uh, I don't know who. Someone has come up with an automatic that has no play. They've come up with a way of doing it. But man, this is a beast of a knife. I love it. I love too that it's a combo blade. Usually when you see me with a combo blade it's because I really wanted the knife and that was the only one they had. <laughs> but in this case it's so big. I mean seriously it's a big beast of a knife. 4.6 inch blade. 4.6 inch blade N690 steel. N690 steel and it's a tanto blade. It has everything going for it. <laughs> so, so to me, you know, I got a 2.3 inch of serrated blade, 2.3 inches of a plain blade. Then I have that other bit because it's tanto, man. They had fun with this knife. Oh, I think it's a little tactical, don't you? I think it is too. Uh, it's really a nice knife. Not so much an EDC knife, but hey, you want to impress the boys in the mail room or at work or if you just want to have fun. That's a knife I will be flipping when I get home. <laughs> that is a knife that will be firing all night long. I love my Halo 5. I really do. And that, my friends, that's it. That's it. That's it for this Saturday, October 8th, 2016. Yeah, we do this every single day. This is the pocket dump deconstruction with the knife that got away as well as the big Saturday knife for the mailroom folks. Hey, I hope everyone made it okay with the hurricane. My kids, they had damage, but they're all well and good. And that just makes me very happy. Uh, um, but man, they went through something. <laughs> it went through it. I hope all of you guys are safe, you and yours. Um, you guys have a perfect day. Thank you very much for giving me so much of your time. I know that it's precious. I hope it was worth it to you. I enjoy talking to you. Keep your pockets full. Goodbye.